The mayor's pick to become Baltimore City's next fire chief recently had criminal charges expunged from his record. Paul Gessler reports why the mayor says the incident does not disqualify James Wallace from leading the department. As first reported by the Baltimore Sun, James Wallace had explosives charges expunged from his record in 2021. He'd already been serving as the director of the city's Office of Emergency Management, and now he's in line to be the city's next fire chief. The Baltimore Sun reports its 1992 article details Wallace was charged with possession of more than 50 pipe bombs, devices the mayor described Thursday as fireworks. In a statement through the mayor's office, Wallace admitted to a mistake when he was young and said he was appropriately reprimanded. He went on to say he was thankful his situation was considered worthy of full expungement. This is something that does not disqualify him. The mayor pointed to Wallace's more than 30 years of service to the city. Leading us through storms, explosions, a horrific incident where we lost three firefighters. We look forward to seeing his confirmation as a fire chief as well. I'm very humbled by this nomination to serve. He was nominated last month to serve as fire chief. The department has been without a permanent chief since December. Niles Ford resigned from his position following the release of this Stricker Street report. It detailed multiple problems with the department's response the day three firefighters were killed battling a vacant house fire. The mayor used Wallace to highlight the city's ban the box policy, preventing employers from asking about criminal records on job applications. We shouldn't even be talking about this because they're expunged records. And we all deserve the opportunity to continue to grow and demonstrate our true character. The city's firefighter union is standing behind Wallace, too. Its president told WJZ Wallace has shown he's willing to work with them to take on the complex issues they face as a department and move them forward. Wallace still needs to be confirmed by city council. Should that happen, he would need to become a full-time Baltimore city resident per the city charter. Reporting from outside City Hall, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.